Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? This is Toby with Online Security, and we're back with another Cert Master Lab for Security Plus 701. Here we are going to be detecting and responding to malware. If you've been enjoying this series, please don't forget to hit the like button. Actually, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave a comment if you got any questions or if there's something in something very specific that you want to see. All right, let's jump right into it, y'all. So we're going to be detecting and responding to malware. This is a pretty cool lab. Some of this is going to require some work in our local browser so i'm going to go ahead and open that up we want to go to joesandbox.com all right joesandbox.com all right i'm going to let's do this i'm going to detach this for now split this and i'll have this over here all right so we're on joesandbox.com this is a pretty good website open open website for you all you can actually register get an account there i believe there's a paid version as well but you use this website to analyze different malware analyze different malicious activity so if you just play around with it scroll down just get a feel for the overview right we can analyze things based off of different operating systems if you want to analyze malware or some type of malicious activity on the windows operating system you can on the mac operating system android linux you can and there are advanced options you can upload your your sample you can browse a website or, or download it from another location or as well you can upload it via command line there are different ways you can define and choose your sample that you want to analyze all right so let's go ahead and go through these instructions all right, so first thing you want to look over the deep malware analysis page, right? That's what we just did. Next, let's go over to results, right? We're going to select this tab over here, results. These are all the results that have been uploaded into Joe's Sandbox as of today, right? There are a bunch of results. You can keep scrolling, right? There are thousands and thousands and thousands of pages. You can also see different malware trends up here. Let's go and keep on moving along. All right, so in the search bar right here, in the search, we can search for a variety of different things. We can search for hashes, ID tags. We can search for names, right? So let's go ahead and search for Zeus, the Zeus bot, right? Zeus was a very, very, very common malware back in the day. I'm going to paste this in here. All right, this was, uh, uh, did I type this? I uh, had that, the dot at the end. Maybe that messed it up. All right, cool. Here's Zeus, malicious. Definitely malicious, right? Obviously, it's letting us know that it's malicious. Joe's Sandbox is a tool that we can use to analyze malware. We can use to analyze malware. Here's some more information about Zeus. I definitely recommend that you look into it. It was something big in the bank sector um, back in the day. It's not as common as it used to be, but it is still relevant. All right. Next, we are going to let's go ahead and look at this report. We can look at the Zeus report by selecting HTML. And the report is pretty lengthy, y'all. It goes into extreme details about this malware. It gives you general overview, detection, different signatures that you can use to detect it, uh, classification, right? And if you keep scrolling down, I mean, this thing goes on and on and on and on and on, right? The MITRE ATT&CK framework, right? MITRE ATT&CK framework is definitely something very popular in the field. I've I highly recommend that you become familiar with this, right? It's just an attack matrix that that, that MITRE has put together, MITRE is an organization, they put together this attack matrix to define different tactics and techniques that attackers and APTs, they go through when they're trying to deliver their payloads. All right, so it says from the MITRE attack matrix section of the Zeus analysis report, what attack, which, what attack technique groups does this malware demonstrate? So we have credential accessing and command and control. Command and control, credential accessing. All right, so now we're going to look at a different different malware called Mira. Okay, this is a bot. I'm going to scroll all the way to the top. I'm actually going to come back to this initial tab, and I'm just going to post it in here. And same thing, we're going to get a lot of different hits on this malware. All right, it's going to be a lot of different hits. I'm going to select this one right here, go to the HTML report. And once again, we're gonna get a bunch of different information just like with Zeus. So this is a pretty cool tool that you can use to get information about malware. Let's say that you have malware on your system, you wanna upload it into Joe Sandbox, please do so. You're gonna get a lot of information regarding this. The analysis is extreme. All right, so this is just one tool that we can use 
to analyze malware. All right, we're gonna go to the next section. Another tool we can use is called virustotal.com, right? Virustotal.com, but before we go there, let's go to this site here. We're gonna go to Eker, Eker. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. We're gonna go to eker.org. All right, eker.org has, if we go to download anti-malware test file, it's not gonna download anything for you, right? Not right here, right? This is a section where you can download malicious it's it's not it's it has malicious signatures in the file right you can download a test file that has malicious signatures in the file just to make sure that your antivirus is working let's say you bought a new antivirus and you want to make sure it's working well here's a file that does have malicious signature inside of it right and your antivirus should detect it if it doesn't detect it then you know that you probably don't have a good antivirus or anti-malware application all right, so I'm not gonna download this. All right, I'm not gonna download any of this. So what we're gonna do is go over to Cali. We'll come back here in a minute, but we'll go to Cali, which I'm already on. So I'm gonna put this back, join the window back together. So we're, we're on Cali right now. Let's go and log in. You know the username, root. You know the password. Let's do our thing. First thing we're gonna do is mount this CD-ROM. I'm gonna open up the terminal. I'm gonna right click on this CD and select mount volume. And I'm gonna copy everything from that CD to our downloads folder. And then I'm gonna go into the downloads folder. And we can see that the CD had two things in it. It had a zip file and a text file. You open up the text file you can see this test string right this is the same thing that was on that acre website that we could have downloaded right and your antivirus if it is working and functioning properly if it's up to date it should be able to test that this it should be able to assess that this is a malicious string all right next we're going to unzip the zip file the zip file had extracted acre underscore or ecom 2 dot, well, let's see what it extracted. <laughs> All right, so this is what it gave us. Oh, it's a zip file inside of a zip file. Okay, so we got to unzip it again. <laughs> it's a zip file inside of a zip file, which is pretty common when you're trying to share malware with each other. So the first thing we unzip was this ecom eker ecom 2zip and then the second thing we exit was eker underscore com. All right, so now we can see we have this guy right here. Let's see what's inside of it. Another malicious string. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're gonna go to virus total. Okay, now we're gonna go to virus total. So I'm gonna open that back up. Before I do that, let me detach this. And I'm gonna open up virus total back up. So we're gonna to go to virustotal.com. All right, virus total, this is something that I use more often than Joe Sandbox. You can upload malicious content, upload malicious URLs, upload hashes to see if they are malicious or not. All right, to see if they are malicious or not. So we're at virus total. We're gonna to go to the URL section. And what we're gonna do is, where's the link at? Search and scan, I think, is this it? We're gonna up, let me make sure we got the right one. Copy this. Let's go ahead and paste it into the URL of virus total. All right, it looks like we're only getting one hit back, right? This is the list of vendors. Virus total is pretty cool. You have a list of vendors that are taking whatever you're inputting, and it's going to, they are going to check if they have seen any malicious strings or they have any information in regards to whether that what you provided is malicious or, or clean. 
Right now, only one company, one vendor, AutoShun, is saying that this website is malicious, which is okay because there are malicious content on that website for testing, though. For testing. So we go to details section. All right. Detection details. The first time we get some more information about what we share, right? The input that we put in. So a lot of information here. I really recommend that you get familiar with this. Even if you have basic files, a word document on your computer, upload it into virus total and get in and get familiar with it. The first time that this was shared was in 2010, right? The first time that this eager.org website was shared was in 2010. So I'm going to go ahead and click 2010 right here and score that. All right, so we're going to re you can reanalyze it. It's just going to run it back through the same function, which is okay. So what we're going to do is take this hash, right? This is the hash of one of the zip files that we downloaded. All right. Well, first let's get the hash ourselves. I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to put the instructions back together. So they provided the hash, but you also want to know how to do it yourself. All right, so we're just gonna do SHA-256 sum. We're gonna get the SHA-256 hash of this file, ikercom2.zip, right? That is the hash of that file. I'm gonna copy it from right here. Right click, copy. And what I'm gonna do is take this over to virus total. It's going to go back to virus totals homepage by selecting that. I'm going to go to search and I'm going to put that hash inside of virus total and select enter. All right. So look at what it gave us back. Everybody's saying that this is malicious except for a few, few vendors. All right. Most of them are saying that this hash is malicious except for a few vendors on what tab of the virus total an analysis report will you find information about execution parents and bundled files. That's going to be under here, the relations tabs. You will find information about execution parents and the bundle files, right? This is execution parents or files that create the file being studied upon. This is what created the file, right? And then the bundle files, that's other files stored inside of what we inputted. All right, we're going to go ahead and score that. Boom, we did some malware analysis using two different websites, y'all. Joe Sandbox and Virus Total. Please, 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 anytime you download applications, even if you don't have a tool to get the hash of your application, you can upload it into Virus Total. It will give you the hash, right? If you download something, you don't know if it's secure, you don't know if it's safe, you don't know if it's clean, upload it into virustotal.com to check it out. You could even use Joe Sandbox as well. All right, questions. What are the benefits of using a sandbox malware analysis? Quick, quick, quick analysis of suspicious files, analyze, perform separate from analysis, perform separate from production systems. Automated evaluation of detonated code, detailed information about evaluated samples. We're going to go with all of the above. What are options to submit code samples to Joe Sandbox? Well, we can just take a look at that, right? We go back to Joe Sandbox, go back to the main menu. Well, the options we have to submit code, we have command line options. We have download and execute. Where did it go? We have URL, I'll select that. We have, I don't see USB drive on here and I don't see a hash submission. Okay, so I'm gonna go with URL and I don't see direct upload. Let's see, we got it wrong, so we're missing something. Let's see if direct upload was the one we're missing. Yes, it is. All right, sweet. What types of submissions are supported by virus total? Domain name, IP address, hash submission, URL retrieval, all of the above. Whoops. The eager test file is a malicious string. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's not a malicious string. It's just a test file. I'm sorry. It's just the test file. It's not actually malicious. However, your anti-malware, your antivirus should detect it as it being malicious, but it's not actually a malicious code. It's not going to do anything malicious on your system if you were to download it on, onto your computer. All right. So when using online malware scanning services, when using an online malware scanning service, uploading a file and using a hash of a suspicious file, both provide confidentiality. No, 
Hashes don't provide confidentiality. They, they provide integrity. Hashes provide integrity. They allow us to validate the integrity of our files, of our data, whatever that we're interacting with. We can validate the integrity of it. And that is it, y'all. That is it for this section. I will see you in the next video. Peace.